Welcome back to my channel you guys. It's Alicia here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a Sunday fall reset video. When I can, I love to spend my Sundays resetting, cooking and cleaning and doing self-care practices and just spending this day preparing myself for the week to come. Especially when I'm feeling like I've been in a rut, I've been really busy and just things are a little bit of a mess. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today. It's very fall cozy themes because of course we're in fall right now. So I hope you guys enjoy. Right now, I am obsessed with putting on jazz music from YouTube and playing it in the background when I'm doing anything, especially when I am cleaning and resetting my life. Feels as if it's actually a decoration, but it's for free. So I love that. I'm gonna link the ones that I listen to down in the description. I also love to put on incense in my home. I like candles as well, but it just really sets the mood before I start resetting my life. The first thing that I wanted to do today was to wash all of my sheets. I like to start with this when I'm doing any of my cleaning because it takes a while to wash and dry everything and I always love to have a clean bed afterwards. So. As you can see, I'm just stripping all of my pillows and I didn't actually wash my duvet this day because I had already done that and I don't do that every week. I'll do my sheets every week, but I don't know if any of you can relate, but washing your duvet cover all the time, it's so hard because you have to zip it out and you have to put it on. It's so hard. I don't know. Maybe I'm just lazy. I'm probably lazy, but whatever it is what it is it was clean i promise you also i got my sheet sets and duvet cover and all of that from the bay i don't think i can find the link for it but i did get it at the bay by the way i'm not looking the hottest in this video because i like to do my shower routine and stuff after i do some of my cleaning just in case you were really curious which you probably weren't so now i'm putting all of my sheets into the laundry i'm currently using tide i think it's called gentle and free i'll show you on the video it just doesn't have a lot of different perfumes and such and once i put in my laundry this is when i usually like to wipe off my side tables if they're really dusty and musty Sometimes my place is really messy and sometimes it just needs a little pick-me-up I feel like today was the day that I just needed to wipe down a few things I didn't go super into the deep cleaning anything of that nature, but I did wipe down my side tables By the way, I got these lamps at Walmart so many years ago I wish that I could find the link and I can't I'm really sorry But I did get those from Walmart and my side tables are from Ikea so this side table is the one that I use most often. So I love to keep my books, to keep my cream and my lip balm, all the good things that I need. And right now I have a few books on my bedside table. Lately I've been reading the book Pussy, which is amazing. It's revolutionary and every female needs to read that book. I'm definitely going to go into a favorites video with that because it's just, it's unreal. So yeah, that is my side table. So basically my room is done and clean. There's not much to it. I'm still waiting to wash all of my sheets and then I'll put those on later. Now I'm going into the washroom. Again, today was not a day where I needed to go super deep into the cleaning, but I did take everything off of my sink counters and just do a good wipe i have way too many products i don't even know how this even happened i'm just looking at this video now like girl you don't need all of these things i don't know if anyone else is the same where you just by the end of the month you have like a thousand different products probably not needed anyways so yeah just wiping down making things look good i use I don't know what brand this is, but I did get it from Whole Foods. It's just like a cleaner brand of products to use for cleaning your washroom or your, your kitchen, whatnot. If you guys have any recommendations for clean products, then definitely let me know because I'm always up to try something new. And slowly throughout the years, I've really tried to switch some of my cleaning products or my laundry detergent, or of course the food that I'm putting into my body. 
to more minimal ingredients because I do care about that. I'm a very much so a holistic girly. I have been into holistic health for a long time and I just, I care about the things that I put on my body and in my body, but I am not perfect and I don't think we all need to be either. After everything is clean, I love the feeling of putting everything back once you've wiped down everything. It just looks a thousand times better, premium, premium content, premium living. We love it. By the way, this V cleanser that I have, the green one, I don't even know what it's really called. I got it from Costco with my boyfriend and it literally doesn't do anything. And I have two huge things, which is kind of annoying. I actually like CeraVe as a brand for skincare, but it's not doing what it needs to do. So I don't recommend that one. <laughs> Anyways, I'm putting away the rest of my skincare. I use Sukin right now for my skin. I'll show you afterwards. And these are just a few of the products that I'm using on the regular. Also Ariana Grande perfume, the Moonlight is elite. My shower didn't really need to be clean, so I kind of just did a little bit of reorganizing before I actually went into the shower. On days that I would do really deep cleans, I would be taking out everything, like scrubbing everything down, but I honestly didn't need that. But I definitely should before the bath season starts, which it's already here. I've been taking baths all the time. And if you guys want to see a bath routine, let me know because I am a bath fiend. I love it. I love having baths. So yeah, I'm just like organizing things before I get into the shower and just making everything look kind of cute. Okay, girls, this is the shower routine part. I tried my best to record as much as I could without getting water everywhere, which I absolutely did. Um, so I'll just show you what I could. So I use Native for my, my, like my body wash. I love it. Again, I'm really into just like clean ingredients. So I try my best to do that with my body care as well. So right now I've been using Native. After I washed my body, I took my hair down and wet it, which is going to be probably crazy for some of you who might be watching some of my videos and being like, wow, this is what your natural hair looks like. Yep, this is what my natural hair looks like. I just don't ever really wear it out. I'm just trying to grow it out and just, I don't know. I just, I don't really love the length, but I do love how far my hair has come since, oh my gosh, back in the day where I used to just straighten straighten it and damage it so what i usually do is i wet my hair and then i put in conditioner and section my hair and brush it before i actually clean my hair i only shampoo my hair once a week if necessary because i have curly hair it takes a long time for my hair to get really oily but i have to brush my hair all the time like every day in the shower i'm having to section my hair and brush it because that's just i have not i have naturally really curly hair so I'm always sectioning it, using conditioner, and then I will go in and put shampoo, usually just around the top parts of my scalp because that's where I will have a lot of gel. I don't really get a lot of buildup, but sometimes I do because I'll slick back my hair, or I'll do a certain hair routine, and I need to get that out of my hair. So as you can see, I use Shea Moisture right now for my shampoo. It's like this black castor oil type of shampoo. I'll have it linked down below. I actually really like it. And I find that when I shampoo my curls, they actually come out so nice because there's no product on it. And then I will go in and I will use right now, my current favorite leave-in conditioner is the Blueberry Bliss. It's like an organic brand of leave-in conditioner and I right like for today I just brushed through I finger detangled my hair with the leave-in conditioner and then I put it up in a bun sometimes usually like once a week what I'll do is instead of doing that because that's quite quick I will resection my hair again and I will brush through each section with that leave-in conditioner and then I will put another curl cream on top and I will twist my hair and I will put it in a hot cap and then I will sleep with it overnight. So there's a lot of different things that I do with my hair. If you're really interested in like an actual hair routine, shower routine, you can let me know like a detailed one. After I did my hair, I shaved my legs. So again, using Native, I love that body wash, body wash, body gel, whatever. And yeah, I don't actually need to 
shave my legs a lot like my hair does not grow that often on my legs i don't know if anyone else is like this but everywhere else in my body it grows so we love that as soon as i get out of the shower anything that i just shaved i want to put oil on like right away i love putting on my oils and my creams after the shower when my body is almost damp like when my body is like my skin is warm and everything is still fresh like my pores are open i just feel like the products can really seep deeper into my skin when I'm right fresh out of the shower. So that's what I try to do. On my legs, I'm using this oil. This brand sent it to me, Smile Makers. It's just this like erotic bead oil, but really and truly I have a lot of different other ones as well. So I can show you in a different video. I'm just putting that all over my legs. Also, every time I get out of the shower, I'm always putting my turban towel on my head. I have two of them. I'll link them in the description below. I love these things. They keep my hair super, not even super dry, but it just, it gets the job done. And I hate putting towels on my head. For my body care, I put this coconut vanilla body lotion on my skin. I just got this from Winners, I believe. Again, this is a cream or a body lotion, whatever, same thing that just has minimal ingredients. And when I'm putting this on my body, I'm actually taking my time to think about how it feels on my skin, just loving on my body, loving on my skin. I have a whole video on just how to connect to your body more and just slowing things down. Sometimes we just rush through our self-care routines. We rush through putting on oils and creams on our bodies and we just don't feel connected. So it's really good to just slow down when you are putting on any type of skincare. When I get out of the shower, I always put on my toner, my Sukin toner, let it dry just for a little bit. Oh, and I was cleaning my ears out of the shower as well. I always get, I don't know if anyone else always gets product in their ears when they're doing their hair. I don't know, probably for me because I put in so much product on my hair because I have to brush it out so much. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I go in with my Sukin. I think I'm saying it right. I might be not saying it right. I don't know. It's a day cream. It smells delicious. It has rosehip oil in it. Again, everything that I have in this video, I will link my best down below. But I like to put that on my face again, just really rubbing, letting it sink in, slowing it down. And then after, what I like to do recently is put on some jojoba oil. And again, just a little bit. I put it over top of my skin and it just makes my skin look glowing. It makes me feel fresh and good. Not everyone can put oils on their face. I do find that I'm fine with them, but sometimes I go through seasons, and especially as the colder seasons are here. I feel like I'm really needing to put more moisture back into my skin. So that's just what I've been doing right now is my skincare changes all of the time but I will say I've been trying to put less on my skin and all of these different products and washing my face a million times so I had recently gone to the bulk barn if you don't live in Canada you might not know what that is because I don't think they have it in the states but it's basically just a store where they have bulk everything and you just take scoops and put them in bags so like spices or hemp seeds or candy or flour or baking goods like anything so I stopped by I got a few things mainly the spices that I needed for the stew that I was going to make but also just a few other things that I needed like hemp seeds and I got bee pollen because I wanted to put in my yogurt bowl and they also sold these little jars the spice jars so I got those as well I kind of want to go on Amazon and find a whole set that looks really nice and it's high quality but for now it's like okay I need something so let me just get it now so I just transferred all of the seasonings, all the seeds, anything that I had into these little jars, which I personally just feel like it's so soothing to organize and put any of your like perishable items or items that usually you keep stored away into jars. Like as you can see behind what I'm pouring in, I have my coffee in the little jar beside my coconut oil, which I also had a huge tub of coconut oil and I just put it into that and also like my salt shaker. Just, I don't know, it's just giving organized, it's giving homemaker vibes and that's just really what I'm here for. So 
Pro tip, just go to the dollar store or go somewhere where it's cheap if you don't have a lot of money to invest and get little jars and make your kitchen or make your home just look more cohesive. It will just give you such a good vibe. So I felt like because it's the season of fall, I had to at one point make a stew and I've been having this stewing beef in my freezer for a while. So I was like, okay, I need to get some ingredients and make this thing. So I went on Pinterest. I'm gonna link the actual recipe down below, but I told myself I need to start not learning how to cook. Well, maybe learning how to cook because we can all learn, but just cook more. I cook a lot at home. I make all my food usually like throughout the week at home, but I usually just eat the same things over and over. And I know the importance of just adding in more vegetables or meats or different ways of cooking into your life or your diet. It's just so good for you. So I figured let's just do this thing. By the way, my cutting skills are not the best. So please don't come for me. I totally know that I could easily chop off one of my fingers any second, but don't worry, I don't do it. But I should probably work on that. Also, can you just take in this clip right now? Look at me. I, first of all, I look like a good grandma. I'm trying to make sure that you can see myself in the clip. I cannot believe I had to leave it in. I just like I had to look at me. By the way, I'm wearing my blue light glasses. I wear these every single time that I need to chop an onion because my eyes water like crazy. I just I thought that that was quite iconic to be honest. So I had to leave that one in. So the beef that I'm using for this recipe is grass fed. I try my best to source my proteins the best that I can, meaning everything is grass fed or wild caught or just as high quality as I possibly can. Now I know not everyone can do this and there was a point in my life where I couldn't and there's definitely things that I have to not buy or not do or not get in my life because I'm spending more money on quality food. So. I just wanted to note that, but I just have to say that this stew with this type of meat tasted so good. After I washed the beef, I put some seasoning on it that the recipe called for and also just like my own. And the white stuff that you see me putting on the beef is actually flour. And I had to coat the beef before I put it on the pan to saute a little bit. That just helps the stew be a little bit thicker as well as adding a little bit of cornstarch in. So just in case you're curious to know if you actually ever wanna make this recipe. So I'm gonna speed up the example of how I'm cooking this stew because I think if you really wanna make it, you can just go to the link. But basically I cooked the meat just for a few minutes. That's what the recipe called for. And then I took it back out of the pot and then I added the carrots, the onions, and the garlic back into the pot and just cooked that for just like a few more minutes, just browning it basically with a little bit more oil. And then I added the beef broth with the potatoes. And I also added the rest of the spices that it called for as well as the tomato paste. I let that come to a boil for a little bit and then I re-added the meat back in and then I just put that on simmer and I let that sit for around I think it was like an hour-ish. So as I let the stew just sit and simmer my laundry was done at this point so just putting my sheets back on the bed we love this i love the smell of some fresh sheets even though the tied laundry pods that i was using don't really make my sheets smell like anything in particular but it still smells clean and fresh and of course warm i remember when i used to live with my mom back in my hometown and we had like family dogs like little dogs we still have them but i just i don't live with her anymore but my little puppies would jump on my bed and just dive into the warmth of the sheets. I don't know if anyone else has dogs who do that, but I just think it's the cutest thing. I kind of miss that. Obviously struggling to put the last corner on as most of us do. I really wish there was an easier way, but my sheet is clearly just getting too small for my bed, but are we gonna do anything about that? Not today, no ma'am. Don't you just love the look of a fresh, clean bed? I truly like nothing more. Actually, there's a lot of things that I like more than that, but today, I love nothing more than this. 
So while I was cleaning, I was actually re-listening to one of my podcast episodes just to make sure there was no mistakes. So I reset the vibe, put on some more jazz music and lit a candle this time. I will link this candle down below if I can find it. Also, it, I, I did Christmas jazz this time. I don't know, but just for the moment, it worked. So as my stew is cooking, I'm just doing a little bit of a tidy up. I don't know how my living room got so dirty, but it did. So I just swept my floors a little bit. Truly guys, I need a better broom. Like I'm just looking at this. This is definitely a dollar storm broom and it's holding on to its last leg, its last brain cell. I mean, it's it did the job but we absolutely need to level up with that one. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Anyways, it is what it is now, isn't it? I think that sometimes we get in our head about cleaning in general when we think about the fact that we have to clean our apartments, we just think it's gonna take so long. But truly, this took me less than five minutes to just tidy up this mess in my living room. And I really try to remind myself that when I'm just doing little tidies throughout the week, like. I look at my apartment and I'm like, oh, it's such a mess. And then I tell myself, Alicia, it actually is only going to take you less than five minutes and you spend more time on your phone sitting scrolling than you do doing that, like being able to just clean for less than five minutes. So just do it. So this is your sign that if you're living in a mess right now, take less than five minutes. Just put a timer on if you really need to and show yourself how long it actually takes to clean which is not long at all and then you feel so much cleaner so much better i am somebody who needs their environment to be clean and tidy majority of the time of course my apartment gets messy whenever but it doesn't take long for me to get my ass up and start cleaning again because i just i need that for me to be creative for me to feel like i'm just in a certain vibe i need things to be nice and clean especially when i'm setting up for the week to come or i just want to relax for the rest of the sunday like i want everything to be clean and nice and my food is done and my hair is clean everything is good so i can just actually relax and enjoy myself I feel like a clean home equals a clean mind and i just feel like i cannot relax unless things are just in order at least. My stew is done. Isn't it just looking fabulous? I was kind of proud of myself because of how not only great it looked, but it actually tastes amazing. And also, I feel like my boyfriend is going to love this as well. I wanna make it for him. This is technically like an Irish soup and he's also Irish. So I feel like I'm low key being a wife, but that's another topic for another day. So after I did all the cleaning, stew is done, apartment is looking good and fresh and fun for the fall, I'm just ready to start a new week. This is what I do at least once a week if I can. It doesn't have to be a lot. Sometimes I just do a quick clean. I don't do an elaborate stew. Sometimes it's very simple what I'm doing, but I'm always usually making sure my apartment is clean. Food is prepped. My hair is done, my skin is feeling good, like my, I'm just feeling good about my body. I have naturally always been in this type of era of Sunday resets and routines and self-care and just loving the environment that I live in and making sure that it's clean and making sure that it's looking beautiful, all that kind of stuff. I'm That's just who I am. And if you want to see more videos like this or any routine in more detail, then please let me know. I would love to show you some of the things that I'm cooking, some of the things that I'm eating and incorporating into my, my diet or my life and just how I'm creating my home, especially as the winter seasons come. I am so ready for wellness winter and just really immersing myself in the season of holidays and wellness and really just becoming a woman. Honestly, I feel like so many of us are obsessed with the self-care reset type of videos. I know at least it helps me stay motivated on my journey of just being a woman. So if you want to see more of these videos, please let me know and I will chat with you guys in the next one. Bye!